Do you need to enable, disable, or maybe even require specific fields? Let me show you how with conditional logic. Hey, job formers, welcome back. I'm Kimberly and I'm already in a form and we can see we have three basic elements. I have a drop down that says agree to terms and then the options are yes and no. And then we have a name field and an email field. So basically the logic that I'm following is if they say yes to agree to the terms, then it will allow them to fill out the name and the email. If they choose no, then it will not allow them to fill out the name and the email. So let's go up to settings and I'm gonna head over to conditions. And we can see right here, enable or require. This will also disable. So this very first one where it says if, we're going to choose if agree to terms is equal to yes, then we are going to enable the name field. Now we can also add another plus. We're also going to enable the email field, save. Now let's add one more condition, same thing, enable require field. This time I'm going to do agree to terms is equal to no. The do is going to disable the name. I'm gonna do the plus sign to add another one. Let's do disable the email, then we'll save. Now, if we go up to preview, we can see that someone can still fill out the name and the email without accepting the terms. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna add a new condition, enable and require, and this time agree to terms is empty. We are going to disable the name, then we're also going to disable the email and save. Perfect, so now we have three. So let's head up to publish, let's open a new tab and let's see what this looks like. So we can see right now, I have not selected any terms. If I come up here to the name, it's not letting me select it to type anything in. So if I come up here to choose yes, I can type my name in and it's as simple as that. If you have any questions about enabling or disabling or even requiring fields, let us know and I'll see you next time.